Hello there. Tonight I'm going to be doing a shave in cooperation with the Shave Mug Society uh, on Facebook. They're doing an international frugal fun day shave of the day. Instead of sharing a picture, I'm going to share this shave. We're going to be shaving with the ever popular and always fantastic Williams Mug Shaving Soap. And I've had it soaking over here for 10 minutes or so. We're going to use my Samog 1460 bore. We're going to face lather. So uh, I've been using Williams this week more than any other soap that I have. Uh, Everybody already knows I love Williams, so I don't see any point in going over that again on this shave. But when I think of frugal soaps or a frugal shave, and I've got a couple days growth. When I think of that, warming up the water a bit, Williams comes to mind most often. Hope everybody's having a good week so far. Mine has had its ups and downs. But I'm still above ground. And I'm still sucking air. <laughs> so I'll call that coming out on top. Dry my hands, and I'm going to use my gold dollar 209 for this shave. I forget what type of edge is on this razor, but Feels like a show, but that doesn't mean much. Since I can't remember for sure. But it's shaving nice and smooth. That's all that counts. Soap is so dead blame slick. I'm having trouble pulling my skin. Lovely. Wet my face again. Been nice and cool this week, seventy two point 
two, I think it was yesterday. 74 today. That's lovely. A little bit of water. Tomorrow. It's supposed to be low to mid 80, so in actuality around here, that means when the weatherman says that, that's going to be mid to high 80s. They never get that right here. It's always a bit warmer in the summertime and in the fall and cooler in the winter and the spring. than what the Weather Channel or any of the others forecasts. And I've even looked at like what they said it was. on any given day versus what my thermometer reads and my thermometer is always a bit higher all three of them but having said that There are always going to be lovely local variances. Lovely shave these gold dollars I love frugal shaves uh, and I love the frugal shave events although I don't always a lot of times I participate but I don't always share I don't always post a, a photo or do a video or whatnot so a lot of you know I'm usually too busy for that, but uh, that right there is absolutely a fantastic shave. Cold water rinse, uh, and I I like the frugal shaves because you really can. I mean, I don't want to. I don't know what a gold dollar. 209 cost, but if it's more than 10 bucks, I really, really doubt it. Uh, the Samoa 1460, I think, is 13 bucks, 12, 13 bucks. It's in line with synthetics. I could have picked many of them that I have on the shelf as well. Uh, the Williams, <laughs> you know. That's probably the cheapest soap you can get. Uh, Arco and, uh, and Williams. And then I'm going to close out with Aquavella Ice Blue. And I added, I'm going to shake it a bit. Because I add a, a truckload of menthol to almost, almost all of my aftershaves. Some of them I don't. But, uh. That shave and 30 or 40 shaves probably and more in the aftershave and a great deal more out of the razor and the brush but the Williams puck will, will last if you shaved every day with it it'll last a month month and a half uh, so you're talking uh, 13 
15, 20, 25 or 30 bucks for everything that I shaved. If you add it all together, that's what it costs. And then you start breaking it down to shaves. And you see, that's really, really, that's pretty frugal. But they're fantastic. I had a fantastic shave just now. The razor is every bit as sharp and keen and smooth as any vintage razor I got in that drawer there or in that cabinet there. Uh, the brush is outstanding. The aftershave is outstanding. The soap was outstanding. The slickness and the glide of that soap, that soap is outstanding. Hard to ask for anything more than that. All right, frugal shave. God bless you. Thanks for coming along. Later.